Council actually requires a registration. Question number two, Maggie Barry. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What progress is the government making in supporting jobs and economic growth? The Honourable Tony Ryle. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, the National League government has taken a number of steps to support jobs and economic growth. This includes support for investment through the business growth agenda, rebalancing tax to favour work and savings, and removing 170 unnecessary and excessive regulations, saving an estimated $200 million in business compliance costs. In addition, uh, today is expected to be the first reading of the minimum wage starting out wage amendment bill, and this provides a new starting out wage for a number of young New Zealanders to give them the chance to get their foot on the rung of the job ladder. The starting out wage ensures that young Kiwis will have greater opportunities in a competitive job market to earn money, gain vital skills and experience they need to succeed, and as yet another campaign promise National is delivering on. Maggie Supplementary. Barry. What reports has he seen on New Zealand prospects for economic and job growth? The Honourable Tony Ryle. Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Minister of Finance, I've seen a report from the International Monetary Fund which includes the latest forecast for the world's 34 OECD economies. Uh, as the member will know, it is economic growth that produces job growth. The latest IMF forecast has New Zealand growing by 2.2% this year and by an average of 2.9% over the next two years. On average, we are ranked eight out of the 34 OECD nations, so we are in the top quarter for economic growth prospects. In terms of the unemployment rate, we currently have the 14th lowest rate of the 34 OECD nations, and the IMF forecasts that over the next five years, our unemployment rate will continue to drop. Maggie Barry. What other reports has he seen on the progress being made by the government's economic policy? The Honourable Tony Ryan. Uh, Mr Speaker, on behalf of the Finance Minister, uh, in just the last week, one of the American President, Mr Barack Obama's top financial advisers, Peter Orsag, uh, participated in a major international debate on rescuing the world economies from a deepening crisis. One of the panellists was the IMF's Christine Lagarde and the German Finance Minister. Remarkably, Obama's former Director of the Office of Management and Budget singled out New Zealand as the only country that has provided the right balance of stimulus for the economy with reducing the deficit in the medium term. This is a very strong endorsement from one of the nations, uh, from one of the world's top financial exports. Uh, New Zealand's combination of positive economic growth and deficit reduction is rare amongst Western nations and reinforces that we are taking New Zealand through and out of the world's global financial and debt crisis. Question number three, Eugenie Sage. Thank you, Mr oh, Speaker. I beg your pardon, point of order, the Honourable Anne Tully. A point of order, Mr Speaker, and I'm sorry to the member, but, um, Mr Speaker, uh, I gave the answer to um, Mr Chevelle's question before that the tabling of the corrections report was imminent. In fact, I was incorrect. It was tabled at one o'clock today. Oh. 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 I thank the Minister. Uh, Question number three, Eugenie Sage. 